There are not so many guards watching the cafeteria during this shift. Now is my chance to find an accomplice. No, I cannot tie my fortunes to this prisoner. This one won't do. <laughs> you there. A word. What are you playing at? Skulking around and sizing up all the prisoners. Ah, right. You can't speak on account of the muzzle. I've been watching you. You know, for the last five years. And all that time you've been feigning indifference while you surveilled the place, right? <sighs> the other prisoners, the guards, everyone and everything. Watching for minute differences. Like you're making some sort of audit. As far as I'm concerned, only two types of prisoners watch silently for five years. Hungry beasts and people plotting an escape. That's it. <clears throat> if it's the former, I know someone who can help. But if it's the latter... So, which one are you, Professor? Shake your head if you're the former, or not if you're the latter. <laughs> so, my eyes didn't deceive me after all. You're quite clever, I'll say that. Now, for my formal request. I want in on your plan. I can be of use to you. You'll see. I got lots of valuable information I'll only share with a close confidant. I've collected it over my long years in this place. That's why they call me Emerald the Informant. I know my information is good. <laughs> you could do far worse, Professor Jim. Only someone of considerable wit could have figured out my plot for mere observance. Further, he is correct that I have need of his wares. I can certainly use him to my advantage. I knew you'd see it my way. So, what would you have me do? Hmm. This horrid island is four days' journey from the nearest shore. Even if our escape proves successful, we'll need a ship capable of making the journey to the mainland.
I have set my sights on the vessel carrying the inspectors, who visit the prison on an erratic schedule. Thus, I need to know when it is due to arrive next. The ledger containing that information is fiercely guarded. I stand no chance of laying eyes on it. But all I need to know is the date. For that will be the date we make our escape. Understood. That won't come easily. Not impossible, though. I'll contact you once I have it. <clears throat> One more thing. Get me the key to this muzzle. Can't make any promises there, seeing as it was made just for you. <laughs> Let's just pray luck is on our side, eh, confidant? <laughs> the plan is in motion. I just need to let the informant do his work. Oswald. Oswald. Have you found the answer? <laughs> to work, maggots! Move! Hmm. 
So you're the muzzled scholar I've heard so much about. You look like you need something. Same as everyone else who comes to see me. Hmm. The name's Bale. Most call me the Provisioner. I can secure most anything people ask for. Not for money, given our circumstances. But everyone has something of value on them, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so, he won't hand it over for free. Though, if I can find his weakness... I'd better scrutinize some of the other prisoners. I don't believe this prisoner knows anything. Hmm. I don't believe this prisoner knows anything. Here it is. Surely this is the Provisioner's weakness. Let's see how he responds. Finally come to pay, have you? Hmm. Uh, what's that scrap of paper in your hand? What in... Where did you get this? What, whatever you want, it's yours. Just swear you won't speak a word of this to anyone. Hmm. My plan proceeds apace. This clothing ought to keep me from freezing to death. Back to your cells, you animals! That will have to wait. Back to the hole for now. Oswald. Have you found the answer? No, Harvey. Though I have a theory. Behold this small flame. Nothing exceptional. Yet if I apply the equation I have here, its intensity is compounded. And in theory, its power is multiplied. However, as long as it remains a flame, its power is limited. Using equations to amplify magic powers? This is incredible. You're a genius, Oswald. The one true magic. You're one step closer to it, to standing alone atop the summit of magic scholarship. Though, I must warn you not to grow too fond of the idea, for I will surpass you. Time to work, you worthless sacks of meat! Up and out!
must find a prisoner familiar with the underground passage. I don't believe this prisoner knows anything. Yeah, I was in here long before you, see? Reckon I know more about this prison than the guards themselves. This one might know something useful. Perhaps I ought to put him under some scrutiny. I don't believe this prisoner knows anything.
passage. I don't just know it, I helped build it. But don't go asking me details. Best I can say is there ought to be a labor report for it on file in the library. Hmm. The library. This must be the labor report that prisoner spoke of. Whoever wrote it spared no detail in recording the construction of the passage. And they were a prisoner as well. Must be why no one gave it so much as a second glance. <laughs> Aha. There's an entry to the passage right by the guard station. All is proceeding as planned. I've studied the tunnel's construction, and I am certain it is suitable for my escape. Back to your cells! Now! Seems I'm out of time. Back to the hole, then. Oswald. Have you found the answer? I've reached a dead end. There's just one last piece missing. I've explored every possible avenue, but it's nowhere to be found. What could possibly be powerful enough to serve as the source of the one true magic? You've done enough, Oswald. Well done, truly. Now, allow me, the great Harvey, to provide the final piece for you! <laughs> Harvey... Confidant. It took a while, but the goods came in. What's this? I don't recall giving you permission to speak to one another. Ah, uh, you misunderstand, Warden. This isn't what it... It's your lucky day, scum! Speak another word, and I will bury you in the very pit in which you toiled! Do I make myself clear? <clears throat> At least that's the last I'll ever feel of that club, right? I'll see you at the storehouse behind the mess hall. Good to see you, Confidant. It sure wasn't easy, but I nicked it. The inspection ledger. Better still, the inspectors are due to arrive tomorrow. <sighs> All 
we need to do is follow your plan to the letter. We're nearly free. Can't believe they made it. Aye, the gods are in a foul mood yet again. Sure to be another horrible day in hell. The inspectors should be arriving soon. Prison patrols will be short-handed while they ready a welcome party for the ship. That leaves a small window in which to begin executing our plan. It's time. First, we need to make our way to the underground passage. The entrance to the underground passage should be just about here. Excellent work, Confidant. Onward. But first, I have a little something for you. The key to that muzzle of yours. <laughs> I'm locked up now, sure. But I was quite the thief outside these walls. Hmm. Now I finally get to hear your voice. <laughs> huh? <sighs> well, aren't you gonna say anything? It's cold. <laughs> now I see why they needed to muzzle you. You're quite the talker. There's no time. Keep moving.
Oh, and, uh, thanks for the key. You're real warm and fuzzy, aren't you? Save the thanks for when we make our escape. Off we go, confidant. gained valuable insights.
thinking time. Fire. Burn. Broken. Do I have to? Yeah. <laughs> now then. I'm done. <laughs> this is the informant's turn. been destroyed. Damn, we were so close. The cuts look fresh. This was done recently. I fear I've underestimated our opponent. That you did. At long last, the scholar speaks. Hello, Oswald. <coughs> I commend you for making it this far. You even managed to remove the muzzle. But your choice of ally was your downfall. We've been watching Emerald for some time now. I suspected you two would work together. I'm sorry, Confidant. I should have known. Save your breath. The fault is mine. And I will correct it. Whoa! You're not the first, you know. I've seen countless like you. So many have tried. In every last one. Died a tragic death. And so it would be my honor to put you back in your place. Out of my way. Do I have to? I need a plan. Fire. Burn. <laughs> no. Very effective. Feel my wrath! Fire. Burn. They should hold you. <laughs> Pierce that winds of frost. <laughs> See on your feet, Professor. Here, Professor. This wasn't in my calculations. I need a plan. Pierce the wings of frost. Good one, Professor. 
here, Professor. That's a hope. That's that. Well done. Fire. Burn. I need a plan. Fire. Burn. This one's for me. <laughs> Thinking time. I'll put you in your place! <laughs> this one's for me. Based on my calculations, we'll still make it. What are you chattering on about? Now cut out your tongue! I need a plan. Pierce the winds of frost. Good one, Professor! Here, Professor! Thank you. Thinking time. Fire. Burn. Burn! 
do I have to? Yeah. Thinking time. Show you what I've learned. Hmm. In pursuit of knowledge, I will set things right. Fire, burn. That's that. What a letdown. <laughs> Like there's more rats where these came from. A crack. This could be our way out. We have to keep moving. Where exactly? This is the end of the road. No. I have the answer. Blades, reduce this wall to ash. Whoa! Yeah, I think that'll do, Gunfant. We have to go, now. The hardest part is still ahead. Sir. No answers today either. And the sun hangs low. Rita and Elaine are likely preparing dinner. I should be getting back. Long have I toiled in your shadow, but now I've taken all that once was yours. 
and in due course, I shall complete the one true magic. There he is! It's Oswald! Harvey, you bastard! This, Oswald, is my answer. <laughs> Ever since that day, a fire has burned within my breast. Harvey, you took everything from me. Professor. Hey, Professor Oswald! Give me a sign. Are you alive in there? <laughs> I'm fine. You gotta stay alert. I'm counting on you. There's light up ahead. Let's go. Experiments begin. I need a plan. Do I have to? Hmm. Fire. Burn. All according to plan. Good one, Professor. This is the informant's turn. We've done it! We've escaped that godforsaken prison! Don't celebrate yet. They know we've escaped. Then what do you propose we do next, Professor? And I'd like an answer before we freeze to death. The last part will be the hardest. Escaping the island. The inspector's vessel should be docked at the pier. And yet... The warden likely told them about our escape. Let's see what we can learn about the situation. Come. We make for the ship. Let the experiment begin. Do I have to? Sinking time. Fire. Burn. All according to plan. I need to. I'm done. What a letdown. <laughs> Did you hear? There are prisoners on the loose. Put everyone on patrol! Hunt them down! <clears throat> Damn, you were right. Even the inspectors have heard about us. What do we do now? Alter our plans. There's no other choice. We can't stow away on their ship now. We'll make other arrangements. Other arrangements? Uh, do 
you see another boat out here? There they are! Seize them! They found us! Professor, we've got company. That was inevitable. We have to prevent this from causing further commotion. Stay back! Stay back! Do I have to? I need a plan. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking time. Pierce the wings of frost. Good one, Professor. I need a calculation complete. Pierce the wings of frost. Study harder. We have to find somewhere to hide. They'll run us down too quickly out here. There's a shack just there. Let's go. What's the plan, Professor? They're bound to catch us. We can't use the Inspector's ship as we planned. We'll need something else. Hmm. If you have any bright ideas, do share them. Quickly! I'm freezing my rocks off here. <laughs> what did you just say? What? That I'm freezing my rocks off? That's it. You're a fantastic assistant, Emerald. Well, my freezing rocks are gonna save us? No. The straw over there... What could you possibly do with a bit of straw? If we have no ship, then we will make our own. Surely you're joking. Crossing the ocean on a boat of straw? Do you think us otters? Nay, we are human and have the intellect to prove it. Storm of ice, arise. I give you our ice boat. A foundation of buoyant straw beneath a thick sheet of ice. What? You made a boat! I can hardly believe my eyes. <laughs> this might actually work. I once heard of a town blanketed in snow and divided by a river. The people there laid batches of straw down in the river and splashed water atop them until an icy bridge formed. Entire horse-drawn carriages crossed over the ice bridges without incident. And I wouldn't have recalled it if not for you. Yes. Yes, that should prove seaworthy. And there's no chance of the boat melting in this cold. Out of that alive. I have to say, the boat's surprisingly sturdy. Of course it is. Do not doubt my ice magic. Given 
Optimus sees him. The current should carry us to the mainland. But one thing still worries me. They'll continue their pursuit, even if we manage to reach the mainland. In my initial plan, I hope to sink the inspector's vessel before we reach shore. It was to look like an accident, and ensure we were presumed dead. Clearly, we won't have that luxury now. Hmm. I've been meaning to ask you something, Professor. Go on. You were brought in for killing your wife and child. Did you do it? doesn't concern you. I've been on Frigid Isle a long time. I've met more prisoners than I can't remember. But you... You're not like the rest of them. No. There's something different about you. Stop, Professor. I said stop. <sighs> I can't do this. I can't go with you. A boat of ice? Is this some sick joke? It's four days journey to the mainland, if we're lucky. <sighs> we'll likely freeze to death by then. You can take your chances aboard this frozen dinghy, but I... I will be commandeering the inspector's ship. That won't be easy with everyone out there looking for you. They'll deploy fleets from Frigid and the mainland, trapping you at sea. You've a better chance of crossing safely on something small like this. <laughs> well, I won't know that until I try, will I? <sighs> Do what you will. So long, Oswald. I won't mourn him. This was always, shall we say, a friendship of convenience. Watch the boat! Now! I... Uh... I said do it now! I have very little patience! Oswald was right. I'll never make it out on this ship. They'll just arrest me again. Only one thing left to do. They made me mine phosphor till I spit blood. 
So, I might as well put it to good use. <laughs> Farewell, Professor. <sighs> Only one puzzling fact remained. Emerald. Why did you set fire to the Inspector's ship? His actions drew the attention of the guards, allowing my small boat to escape unnoticed. And not only that, I doubt anyone is chasing me now. They have no way of knowing that Emerald and I split up. They're likely to assume that I was also aboard the Inspector's sinking ship. Emerald's final act was utterly... <sighs> well, some mysteries never get solved. Emerald... So I keep rowing, as far as my arms will take me. Wherever that may be. Welcome home, dear. Rita. You must be exhausted. It wasn't so bad. Oh, Oswald. How I long to be with you, to ease your pain. To get you looking presentable again. To make you some goulash with Elena. Rita, I... Alas, my dear, I cannot. You have unfinished business. Uh. So you cannot stay here. For it is not yet time. I love you, my dear. Rita. You're awake. Welcome to the small fishing village of Cape Cold. <sighs> You're one of the prisoners from Frigid Isle, aren't you? Found you collapsed on the beach, nearly frozen to death. Only the faintest hint of breath in you. In my thirty years looking after this little finger of land, I've seen three prisoners wash up from Frigid. But you're the first to do so alive. <laughs> you're a quiet one. Has your mouth frozen shut as well? I need food. Scholar, are you not? <laughs> Forgive me, but I could not resist a look through your personal effects. I too am a scholar, though not one of any renown, mind. Here, take this robe. It's a damn sight better than your prison rags, eh? Thank you kindly, good man. Come now. This is the least I could do. 
But from here on out, I ask that you lead an honorable life. Lead an honorable life. That day shall never come. Harvey, you took everything from me. This fire in my breast shall never be extinguished. And you shall die by my hand. I swear it. So, what are you waiting for? Let's go. My turn. <laughs> In pursuit of knowledge, fire, burn. Thinking time. Fire, burn. I've gained valuable insight. 